going to start out, there's just all kinds of skews out there. There's flat ones, there's round ones, they're, they're flat on the end, they're rounded. I gave you the camera view. Yep. Yeah. There you go. There you go. All right. All right. And uh, this is pretty much a flat screw, uh, skew. <laughs> We're going to make some screws, maybe. <laughs> I got my good friend Larry down there. He's pointing at my pants like they're unzipped. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I'll leave that with, with the skew up there. I started turning probably, I took a, a class in 2000 with uh, Alan Lancer up there. And Alan's a real skew person. And, uh, and, and, and a great guy. He's been to my shop twice in the club. And uh, Alan, he's kind of like the guru of, of, uh, of skew people. Then, uh, but Alan, he's got a, sometimes a little personality problem. He doesn't get along with people. And uh, Alan and Richard Rafton, they got into it. And which one was the best, you know? And, and uh, I don't, everybody knows Richard. And he's just a great guy. I love, love him to death. Uh, but he would get on the lathe. And he's got a, a, about an inch and a half skew, and he would turn this thing up to about uh, 5,000 RPMs, and he'd just go, boom, and, and, and it'd be flat, and it'd be done. And uh, you're sitting out there, and you're just, you're hanging on to your seat, you know, it just, it, and, he, and he got away with it, up to about five years ago. <laughs> and uh, Richard was up there, and he, yeah, I don't know if he didn't have his tool as sharp as it should be, or what, but he went room and he got halfway through and this thing came off and it hit him in the head. And it knocked him goofy. One's the best and, and uh, it's kind of like these skews up there again. This one's that's better, the flat one's better, the round one's better. And uh, then whatever you start out with, that's, I think that's what I would stick with. So with that being said, I'm going to uh, so with the club here, we've got some really, really good turners in this club, and that are really good with the skew, probably better than me. You've got Jim right there. Jim's our second vice. Jim is just outstanding with the skew. He's, he's just fantastic. Uh, we got Mike Fidel here. Michael is fantastic with the skew. Uh, we got Matt Harbor. Matt is fantastic. Smith up here, and uh, Greg is fantastic with the skew. Matter of fact, Greg, I don't know if everybody knows Greg here. Greg is actually the one that started this club up. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Greg. And uh, Greg, stand up so everybody knows you one time. I just, you know, right. Greg is uh, hands down, there's no better turner than him in this club, period. So, <clears throat> with a pin and doing a pin blank up there. Pin blanks should be done with a roughing gouge and a skew only. And, and we'll go through this one time, and the skew is just the, the tool of choice. So let me round this up for us, and we'll get going here. Then we'll come back, and we'll do some beads of coals. And... All right, turn this puppy on. Okay, fine. 
What RPM are you turning at? Uh, I try to turn as fast as I can safely. Fast is always better. Well, I'm right in line and I'm trying to figure out whether I should move to the left or the right. <laughs> I find when I'm, I'm, I'm doing something flat, I'm not doing beats and poles, you've got the short pointy end and you've got the long pointy end. When I'm doing something like this right here, I always lead with the short pointy end. I'm going to start out here. I'm riding the bevel. <coughs> I'm riding the bevel. I can't drop it down. about 180 to 200 up there and uh, when I'm doing pins I usually take them to about 400 if I'm uh, if I'm making something for a friend or something but if it's something I'm really working on that's really special I might go up to about 2800 how how do we get this I'm telling you what, this is this is smooth. This is, probably start at 220 right here. <laughs> May not even have to sand it. All right, now I'm going to start out with some beads and coals. What I'm going to do, you got the short end and you got the long end, the long pointy end. I'm going to start and make my marks in here, and I'm going to use. We're going to make kind of a big one here, and uh, maybe just a little bit smaller one there. Let's make uh, about like that. Maybe a small one just for the heck of it. Okay, to start out, <coughs> I start out with the long pointy end. I go in, up, and turn. In, up, and turn. I start out right here, in, up, and turn. When you get, continue to just go back and take it off and start over. I go to the next one. And I go to the next one. Then I come back. I'm going to make that one just a little bit smaller.
following that bevel, and the light is right in. basically as a scraper. And I'll show you what you do when you use it as a scraper. You just kind of make yourself a little room here. <laughs> I know Matt knows what I'm doing. Greg definitely knows what I'm doing. We, this is how, what we used to do. This is how we used yeah. to teach it. Yeah. So, let me finish this up. I'll come back here. Put it up on your head a little. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a challenge. What I would like each and everybody to do is uh, good turners and, and, and the people starting out. Every time you get on the lathe, I want you to make a snowman. And that's the challenge. If you're like a weekend turner, you turn maybe Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, get on the lathe and at least do three of them. Every time you get on the lathe, then I've got a box that sits over here, and I throw them in the box. Uh, if you're a turner like myself, I turn a lot. I turn every single day. And uh, uh, I, I, when I get down, I've got, they're, they're heaping. Uh, what happens is, uh, what I, what I'd like you to do that all the way up until Christmas. And at Christmas time, what happens, my wife, she comes out in the shop, and uh, she goes through the box, and she picks out a bunch of these. And she takes them in the house, and and she paints the hats black, she paints the thing white, and uh, she's got a little hand drill she uses up there, and she takes two picks in there and breaks them, paints them black, makes a little snowman, and she takes a ribbon and ties it on there, and she puts it on all her Christmas presents. Uh, Daughter-in-law teaches second grade in one of the grade schools out here. So I give them to Jim, and Jim takes the box, and he gives them to her. What happens, she usually gives half to a, one of her girlfriends, in uh, the second grade class, uh, about a week ago, the kids all got them, you know, I, I give them away. Uh, I made something that got the wife off my back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and, uh, and life is good. But getting back to this, you come up here, you guys turn one of these every time you get on the way. I don't, if you got to struggle with it, if it takes you 20 minutes, do the 20 minutes, and get it done and throw it in the box. I guarantee the next time it'll be 19 or 18 up there by, uh, by Christmas this coming year up there, you're going to be a good person with a skew. And it's just, this skew will not let you do something the wrong way. Trust me, it will put it right back, you know, it, it just will. 
in, uh, you guys practice, do it in, in, in uh, that's my challenge. And uh, leave that up here. Uh, we got Alfred. See, I'm the warm.